of the tree of life. So my first nutrients that I decided to take up when I had understanding were nutrients that would lead me into sin. They didn't eat from the tree of life first. They eat from the tree that they shouldn't have ate of first. And then God said, well, you're not going to go back and eat from that tree of life so you can under so you can live and live forever doing stuff that doesn't make any sense. So he drove them away. And and, and and I'm from the see and I and I'm from the uh, 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 you know being raised in the hood. You hear some crazy things. They they say you can take uh, 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 man out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the man. You can take Negroes from the place, but you can't take. The, you know I'm not gonna say it because it might be on TV. But you know what they tell you, what you can't do. And 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 the thing about see. And, and, and I'm the champion of God told me to do so. Like I could convince myself that God said to do something. And literally, I'm so convincing I'll believe it until I get down to the bottom of it and realize that God wasn't speaking to me. It just so happened to me by flesh. Either the drawers was on fire, your pockets was too broke, either your heart, either you was born. I'm talking about we look at stuff that we say, you know what, I think I want that car, go get it, knowing your job can't afford it, and now they got to take that back and crack. I'm talking, we do some crazy stuff and put Jesus' name all on it. And then we have the nerve, see, and, and then, oh man, and, and I'm, so I'm, I'm looking at this, and so Eve. Eve says, Eve says in, in verse 4, she says, it says, and Adam knew Eve and his, and, um, his wife, and she, and she conceived, the, uh, conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Have you ever done something and said that it was God, that it was his season? Have you ever did something and just assumed automatically that after I came out of this mess, my first thing that I do will be great? Amen. You graduate high school and you think your first job going to be amazing. You get out of college and you do all the papers and your first job is something that literally doesn't pay your bills. I'm talking about you literally think that, you, listen, I got out of a relationship with a bad person and my next one going to be the next one and that next one always drove me crazier than the first one. You talking about you really thought that when you got out of it, it was going to be great. Adam Eve thought that this first child was from the Lord, not knowing that that was going to be a murderer. <laughs> the first one was a murderer. Hallelujah. There's something on the inside of you that's still lying there, that's still staying there, even if the God is trying to fix you up. Sometimes you go to your new place and make some crazy mistakes. You got some stuff that gotta come out of you. There's some things going on in the inside of you that you have no idea that's still being birthed. See the enemy planted some seeds, hallelujah, right deep down inside of you, and them seeds are gonna show. And when they show, you gotta know what it is. See, hallelujah. See, the Bible says, see, oh man. And, and, and then the word of God says that 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 that, that the first child that they had decided it was gonna be a little selfish. Uh -huh. So Cain got upset because Abel had a good heart. Uh -huh. And Abel and Abel decided, I'm gonna give God up the very first thing. First. See, sometimes we get angry at people because we see their blessings. We see God is showering on their life. We see God is doing some good stuff. We see that they seem to be prospering. We don't know that God, that they give God the first fruit. So, so you see some people doing some things. You have no idea that God is getting their very first fruit. And yet you're giving God just something. It's better to give God the first fruit than to turn around and just give God something. If I can give God the first fruit, He can honor the first fruit. But if I give God something, He may not be too pleased with it. And then sometimes we get angry at Self. You want to kill somebody? Oh, glory, hallelujah. You get angry at yourself because you ain't giving God enough, but you want to get mad at the person that's giving God the first fruit. You ever put your mouth on somebody, talking about what they ain't doing, not realizing that God ain't giving God the first fruit, and yet you mad at yourself, trying to put them in the dirt, talking about them, dragging them all over the place, not knowing that they gave God the first fruit. They gave God the fruit first. See, and the thing that's so crazy, the word of God says that, content, that, that um, Cain had a low continence, that a continence was, 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 was really low. So God said, hey, don't you know? If you do good, see, God will give you warning. And we so crazy why he's warning us. We so self-righteous. Okay, I can be so... I could be so so afraid that God could be warning me and I'm literally thinking it's about something else. Right. Amen. 
And that's like, it's like, yeah, I don't know who he is. The Lord is something else. He go, and it's like, no, he's like, no, I'm talking about you. You're going to need, he's talking. And the more you talk, the more he talks, the more vexed you're getting. So he's telling Cain, he's telling Cain, he said, um, he said, the Lord said, Cain, why are you off? Why are you mad? And why is your confidence falling? He said, if you do well, thou shalt, shalt, shalt thou not be accepted. If thou doest not well, sin is waiting at your door. Why? My confidence, the, what I carry, how my demeanor will invite the enemy in. And he will wait for me to make a worse mistake. Sometimes we're not being blessed after God has tried to correct us because we got the wrong confidence. We walk around and now sin is lying at my door. Sometimes the reason why I'm still messed up is because my confidence isn't right. And God can't bless me with the wrong confidence. Because my confidence will invite the enemy in. And once the enemy comes in, I will follow the voice of the enemy. And God can't hear me while I'm walking in sin. So the first thing that I got to do is accept my wrong and change my confidence. And realize that God is going to work something out on my behalf if I change my perception. Hallelujah. Sometimes God. 